I just can't have them all. We're talking about Fanta bands, and I do have many of them, but not all of them. Anyway, welcome back to the channel. It's me, your host, Amy from Penventure, and I am very happy to have you back for another personal collection update. And in this update, I'm going to showcase some of the fountain pens that are going to leave the collection and a fountain pen that's just joining the collection. I just love doing videos like this because I can connect very, very well with my audience and uh, my personal collection is here to serve as a medium between myself and you guys. So for me, those videos that are done for my personal collection update are really, really fun and I enjoy doing them a lot. Although I enjoy talking about fountain pens all day long in all sorts of uh, uh, videos for my YouTube channel, but uh, it's much more uh, personal when it's about my personal collection because uh, also I can see you, your trends, where are you aiming, what colors do you like, what do you want to see, what do you enjoy, what is your taste relative to my taste in regards of collecting fountain pens and that gives me a very very nice understanding of the overall audience uh, taste in fountain pens. So I'm really really grateful to have you here for this video. In this one we will address a few fountain pens that are going to leave the collection and I'm going to post down below some of the links so they are well cherished and there are pieces of my personal collection so if you are interested in uh, giving them a good home and being the custodian for the next period of time you can find them on the Penventure website and uh, you can contact me and we will go from there so I'm really really uh, happy to have them for you guys. Uh, also, I have a new pen that recently joined the collection, but we will get to that in the final part of the video. First of all, let me show you what is actually leaving the collection, and uh, it's going to be combined with an update of the consignment section for the Pen Venture website as well. First fountain pen is a Leonardo, so I don't sell too many Leonardo fondo pens from my private collection. This is a Cuspid model, this is the mineral gray with the rhodium silver trim and it is available with any nib size of your choice, Yovo, um, elastic fine, elastic extra fine and uh, the normal range from extra fine up to a stub. This fountain pen served me well. You can find this fountain pen on the Pen Venture website down below. I'm gonna leave you the link for the consignment section there. You will find it. You can pick the nib size that you want for this fountain pen. It doesn't come with the original Cuspid box. It comes with a generic Leonardo box with a bottle of ink. It is not numbered. It's a prototype from the factory and uh, if you missed on owning a Cuspid, it's at an amazing price. Um, you will check and you will see it yourself. Moving further, we have something uh, celluloid. We have a wool ever sharp gold seal deco band in the omas celluloid this is a, a very very nice celluloid it is a splendid example of a oversized fountain pen with an amazing uh, flexible nib this is offered in a one size fits all it starts from an extra fine line and it goes to a triple broad so it is a quite fine uh, line to start with it has a uh, sac, vacuumatic sac filling system. It is serviced. It is in perfect condition with this beautiful, beautiful ebonite feed size 8 gold nib, super flex. It doesn't come with a box. I can think that you will enjoy it if you like flexible nibs and overall oversized fountain pens. Moving further, we have another celluloid fountain pen and this is recently added. It's a beautiful example of a ASC Bologna Extra in Blue Lucian's celluloid by Omas. This is a Chatterley Luxury exclusive model. This is my personal pen. It comes with the box all 
documents, everything. This is number 13 out of 30 fountain pens, so it's quite a limited edition after all. Also, it is available with ruthenium plated trims because I'm a huge fan of ruthenium. Again, a size 8 Magic Flex nib, 18 karat ebonite feed. There isn't any staining on the celluloid in the cap. Everything works well and the fountain pen, it's a splendid, splendid example of this gorgeous, gorgeous Omas celluloid. Moving further, we have something that's also exotic and we have a Scribo Feel Zuka. So Scribo does limited editions, 219 pieces for each color, and this is part of a limited edition. This is my personal pen. It's up for sale because you will see what's just recently came in uh, my private collection in a moment, and you will understand why I'm passing on this fountain pen. A gorgeous, gorgeous fountain pen with a broad flexible nib it has everything for it it's beautiful the nib writes perfect it is a very very desired model which is not available for sale anymore you will enjoy having it on the pen venture website again there is another fountain pen that's up for grabs on the consignment section which is not my personal fountain pen but i think it deserves a shout out to say so and is this beautiful Delta Gaius Julius Caesar celebration. It is a fountain pen manufactured in 99. Something really, really special about this fountain pen is the fact that the entire trim of this fountain pen, all of the metal parts are done in solid gold trim. Let me get that one more time. Solid gold trim, 18 karat gold, pure. There is Quite a few other versions that are let's say silver which is vermilion plated in the fact that uh, you have silver which is covered in gold plating but this is solid gold it comes with the original box with the original uh, ink bottle uh, documents everything that you want from such a beautiful Delta fountain pen. If you are a collector and you are in the looks for something which works because this is a fountain pen that I've personally serviced with someone in Italy, a good friend of mine, and everything inside is new. New sack, it's a lever filler, uh, the nib is checked, adjusted, everything is in top-notch condition. It writes you can take this historic piece, put ink in it, and writes just like in the first day that it was made. That pretty much is the update of the consignment section, uh, which uh, pieces of my personal collection are leaving the collection. As much as I'm willing to stretch my budget to fit new fountain pens, some of the fountain pens in my personal collection that serve the purpose of being here having uh, content done with this fountain pen, showcased with my audience, photographed, posted, and uh, some of them that I'm not using as much as I would like and I don't have such a strong uh, emotional connection with them, are going to be put available for sale at the consignment section on the PenVenture website for everyone to enjoy. Now that we got that out of the way, I think it's time to first of all update the list down below. So if you scroll down you will find the list of my entire fountain pen collection and uh, a few days ago I've numbered some of the fountain pens just to see where I'm sitting because at the end of a year I really like to see where my collection was in um, let's say a year ago and uh, what's have been changing, how many pieces have been added, what's the overall total value of my collection, and to assess what are the next uh, steps. You've already seen a pretty impressive update last time in the last video. I'm gonna link the video up here. Some of the fountain pens that uh, arrived were so, so awesome, and uh, they were on my bucket list, most of them, some of them. And um, the one that's just recently arrived, well, it's recently arrived after spending uh, almost uh, two months in uh, the postal uh, services. 
So that, that's the story with the Romanian postal services. Anyway, I'm happy that uh, safely arrived here. We will have this fountain pen in the list down below updated. So let me show you what I got. This is my Scribo Feel Melograno or Pomogran. This is a fountain pen that um, was available uh, for sale uh, used it was uh, only by the courtesy of Susie from Instagram that I was able to get it for my personal collection this fountain pen was sold out just a few days away when I started collaborating with Scribo I asked for it to have it in stock and also to have one for my personal collection I really enjoyed this beautiful beautiful color of this material and it wasn't available so it remained right there a uh, box that was not checked and I'm very happy that I managed to get one after so much time it's a little bit different than other fields maybe back then it was made different I don't know what but it feels different it uh, it's like the facets are a little bit more sharp I get a feeling the weird feeling that this is slightly smaller in diameter. We're not going to review this fountain pen because there are a lot of reviews regarding uh, Scribo fills on our channel. I'm gonna link uh, maybe a video right here. You can check it and see it yourself, the details, the dimensions, everything. But something very unique about this fountain pen is the actual nib because usually when you have so many pens in your personal collection like I do, I don't really check the nib. Sometimes I don't even ask because, um, well, it is what it is. And uh, let me get surprised of what came in. And this time I was very, very pleasantly surprised to find out that this is a custom nib. Susie told me that it's something that she desired for this fountain pen. And um, let me get all of the info right here because I have them in the text. She said that this is not a cursive italic and uh, I'm going to show you a writing sample with this fountain pen so stick with me. This is what Kirk Spears calls an imperial grind but she actually added a diagram and I'm going to try to link it someplace so you can see. Keeps the smoothness and feel of a round nib while also making the cross strokes a little narrower. That is something very very catchy so it's the first time that I'm actually in contact with such a nib so I put some ink in this fountain pen and uh, let me show you how it writes because that is the most important thing after all. What we have here today is something very special and let me start with the fountain pen so we have the Scribo feel Melograno. We have the nib and this is the normal 14 karat gold flexible nib from Scribo and uh, on this nib we have an imperial grind by Kirk Spear. And uh, the ink that I have here is Aurora Blue Black. It's a very, very strange nib because you really have to understand how it works. With this kind of grinds in which the lines are not uh, even, uh, the cross strokes with the vertical lines, it's very, very... Uh, important to get right because the flexible nibs the gap in between times is always varying in regards of the pressure applied so when you put down uh, such a flexible and soft nib like the one on a screwball field it's a very very strange balance in between applying pressure not twisting uh, the nib in order to have those uh, uh, grinds aligned with the page so it is a little bit more tricky so if you will see some of the times that the fountain pen is skipping it's not actually skipping I just recently uh, got the fountain pen so I'm not used how to write with this fountain pen uh, because I'm used to write pretty pretty fast 
and uh, I uh, do all sorts of flourishings. So first of all, I'm going to show you how this fountain pen is writing without any single pressure. So you can see the the way this nib is uh, actually grinded. So this is vertical. put down in a graph with the horizontal. So yeah, that's not actually skipping, that's just me not knowing how to keep the fountain pen and uh, probably we will try to have another go with it once I'm uh, going to write a page or two. So let me show you how it's going to flex. So this is how glorious this nib is under flexing. As you see, the feed keeps up endlessly with the flexing of the nib. This is not something that's very common these days on different fountain pens. Let me try to do something which I haven't tried uh, and uh, just for fun, just let's see if it works. I'm going to try to do some beads. So this is uh, actually an exercise that can show you if the nib has enough snapback uh, and flexibility to form beads when it is pressing. But it is a very, very complicated uh, procedure which uh, showcases better what is called vintage nibs. But we will try it in a modern one. Uh, as you see, we have plenty I'm not a professional, but anyway, this is how it's done. And there is a lot of snapback that forms this sort of bead tread. And I really, really think that this is a splendid and glorious nib, which I need to learn how to use. And it's going to be a fun challenge, which I'm looking forward in the next period of time. Pretty much that sums up my update of my personal collection. Let me know your opinion in the comment section down below. I look forward to enjoying this fountain pen. Anyway, if you seen something that caught your eye, some of the fountain pens that are available on the PenVenture website at the consignment section, let me know your uh, feedback in the comment section down below or if you're interested in giving it a good home for one of these fountain pens or two of them or some of them, I don't know. Uh, email me, the details will be down below. Also, the list of my entire fountain pen collection is down below. And stay tuned because I got something really, really big coming. And when I say big, it's uh, going to rival my um, LB5, which has that nib right there. So join me in the next video or probably the ones that are going to be after, I don't know. As soon as uh, that one gets here, it will be showcased on this channel. Thank you for your support. If you enjoy my content, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. This will help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm to reach out to many more just like you, which are passionate individuals of our beautiful fountain pen community. I know that some of you guys that are watching my videos are not subscribed yet. So if you want to subscribe, have this button right here, just click and turn the notification bell on. And if you want to see more quality content from PenVenture and myself, we have this video right here. Click and enjoy. My name is Emi and I'll forward seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, bye bye.